Caitlin, the state says they are trying to work with these local governments. They are, and they actually just ordered another 2,400 trailers. That's according to Governor Ron DeSantis. The problem? Well, the state emergency management department said earlier today it's cutting that red tape at the local level. This is a blessing. The travel trailer Barbara Morgan got this weekend. It's beautiful. Is now her new home after Ian destroyed hers in Fort Myers. She credits the state's housing program, Unite Florida, for making it happen fast. Four weeks today since I called them the first time. Many similar calls are coming in. The governor says in part, it's because he says the federal program under FEMA is a mess. We've got probably a couple thousand people that could use trailers right now. State Emergency Management Director Kevin Guthrie added this context, saying every community having different rules is partially holding them back from getting more families in trailers. There is no uniformity at local levels on timelines, permits, inspections, required documentation, and so on within any individual jurisdiction. In a statement, Lee County spokesperson Betsy Clayton did not directly respond to Guthrie's statement. Instead, she called the county's process for setting up trailers on properties, quote, extremely efficient. She went on to say leaders continue to, quote, eliminate or mitigate delays for unincorporated parts of the county by working with state agencies. We slept here last night. For people like Morgan living here while they rebuild their lives after Ian, she encourages people to reach out to the state program. I didn't really realize for all the help I got and every place I was welcome how good it is to have my place back. Now, going to the federal level here, state emergency management said that they're going to be sending a letter to FEMA today to ask if they can put trailers like these onto the floodways. And that's a change FEMA actually made just last week.